Hello everyone, it's time for another Art Snacks box opening. I do have a confession to make with this one though. I did peek because I got it later at night and I just couldn't wait. So I kind of saw what was in it, but I didn't look at it. So let's open it up and have everyone have a seat. So you can see that I did open it. First of all, it looks like some ink. Eco line which I'm not really familiar with. And of course, plastic on it. Oh, but it's not too hard to open, yay. I'm all scrunched down because I'm trying to get this to be, uh, you know, closer up view. And we have back to the original sticker. I have to say I was slightly saddened or underwhelmed with that one because I was really enjoying all the different patterns and things that they were trying. I have our menu. Doop. It's sideways there. And what was the snack? I didn't even look. Oh, it's a bubble yum dum dum, which I don't really care for. But I know oh, I've got kids, so somebody's gonna love that. This is really cool. The pin I can stick that on an art bag because I've got plenty of those. Or purse or whatever. Isn't that cute? Love the turquoise color. And move that box aside. Ooh, suspense. Oh, let's see. I did see the pencils, and I see that I have two HB pencils, and I was kind of confused. I'm confused as to whether they are different. I do see that one is light and one is dark, as far as the body of the pencil goes, but I don't know. I'm going to have to look at the menu to see if there's any difference there. We have a King Art ink line pen. Now, King Art was unfamiliar to me until I believe it was last month's box that we got a paintbrush or something. Which, yeah, and then an Eco Line brush pen, which I've seen these before. I've seen people use them at least, and I've never used one. So that's exciting to try something new. I'm just going to either side and get my little journal into the frame here. I'm like, this is probably a really uncomfortable angle, but you know what? What can you do? So let's put some eco line ink on the paper. This is a watercolor. This is a Moleskine watercolor journal. So, ooh, and of course I don't have water right here because what was I thinking? I don't know, but um, I'll get some really quickly here. Now, you know what I do have nearby is a water brush. Good. So that won't make you have to wait too long. Eh, got a water brush there, and let's spread that color out. Ooh, it's interesting. I wonder what color this is. It looks, well, obviously it looks brown, but um, as far as kind of brown, I'm not really sure. I don't want to get my white paper, paper, it's not even paper, it's cloth. Does it say the color? 407 it says, but is there a name? I don't see one. Do you see one? Oh, well. Moving on. We can't spend all our time on that. Let's try out the pencil. Pencils. This is pretty. Um, a pretty pencil. But are they different? They're both HB. Isn't that the same hardness of lead? Well, they look the same, don't they? So we'll set those aside for now. And, ooh, that brown is very golden. Hmm. What's the color? I can't even think. I can't think right now. Can someone think for me, please? No. Here's the equal line uh, brush pen. I had to look at it again. I should write on here. Equal line. This is not brush lettering. Um, let me try to do some actual... Ish. I am not really practiced at brush lettering, but I kind of know the theory on how it's done. Oof, I'm doing a terrible job. I'm just going to handwrite the rest of it. <gasps> My patience is thin right now. Let's see if I can get this brown off of my water brush. Wow, it's really still brown. I'm going to run out of water in my water brush, but let's see if this moves around. Oh yeah, you can still see some of the brown in there. Wait, is this permanent ink? Concentrated. 
This is pastel green. Huh. Well, I don't know. It doesn't seem to move around at all. So, maybe this. And then the King Art Incline Pen. Let's find a spot. Ooh, well, that's a pretty color. Am I still in frame here? Yes. King Art. And I think I have a shadow. I'm sorry about the shadow. Let me see if I can... Did that help? No, not at all. Fix this. I'll bring that down and see if that helps. Yeah, I'm at the shadow, but uh, I'm gonna have to figure that out. And now is not the time for that, is it? So we have the King Art. It's a pretty stiff nib. Not in a bad way, just different than the brush one. And lovely blue color there. Let's see. Ooh, yep, yeah, it moves around. Ooh, I kind of like how there's a little bit of the green still on there. Um, I like that color together. Let's go with that. Get some more blue in there. Oops. I love turquoise. Does, it does leave quite a shadow though, so we'd want to mix that on on a like a ceramic palette. And then let's have a look at the, um, what's this called? The menu, that's right. Not waterproof when dry. That's what it says about this ink. Huh, okay. Possibilities are endless, so you can re-wet it. Short drying time, but it still feels wet. I touched it, so not that short, but shorter than some others, I guess. You can decrease the intensity. Yes, I did that. That's lovely. Um, how do you pair it with the Ecoline brush? It says you can pair it with the new Ecoline brush, but well, I'll have to explore that because I have no idea. And then two varieties in your box. One produced from dark beech wood and one from pine. Okay, so mine, maybe other people got different lead hardnesses. I've got two HB. One that's made from pine, I'm guessing is that one, and this one must be dark beechwood. So, hmm, you'll have to let me know or I'll watch the videos of other people and see if they get different hardnesses, but that's kind of a bummer that mine's, they're the same. It's just the outside wood that's different. Hmm. Anywho, uh, and then the King Art Incline ink pen. What does it say about it? It says it'll never let you down. Oh, it does say it's waterproof ink, but it obviously takes a little while to dry because I could move it right away. Then we have the, wait a minute, what? Oh, this is the watercolor, right. This is the brush pen, the Ecoline liquid watercolor in pen form. Huh, so you think it's not, it would not be permanent, would it? But it doesn't, yeah, mine doesn't, well, maybe it moves a little. I don't know. What do you think? This is interesting. So, I don't know what to say. I'm a little bit confounded here, but this is what I got in my box. And I, I hope you enjoyed seeing me open it. I hope you all have a great day. And I'd love to hear what different things you got in your box if you are a subscriber of Art Snacks. Talk to you later. Bye.